Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we got five five new knives for this week. First impressions. So you see, we have the Civivi Elementum button lock here, and we got the Civivi Elementum fixed blade. I've been wanting to check this out so bad because I love the regular Elementum. Um, the button lock Elementum I like as well. So I really wanted to try. Um, the fixed blade, you know, perfect size in my opinion for a, a fixed blade knife. It is in 10 CR 15 MOV, nice thinly ground, hollow ground blade, beautiful. They call it a drop point. I call it a spear point, but awesome, awesome blade. The ergos are amazing. Nice choke up spot. Um, yeah, I could definitely get a lot of leverage in there because of the straight back design. I can get maximum amount of leverage across my palm. I, the, the, the leverage gets distributed across my palm for maximum force. Nice and comfortable, great thickness and depth or, you know, um, just the handle is very comfortable in the hand. Now it is a little slick. I will say that there's no texturing. You can see it is a very slick surface. We have uh, G10 liners. It is a full tang, as you can see. Nice jimping. So, yeah, this thing is going to be great. I'm, I'm going to have a lot of fun testing this out. We have a leather sheath with a button. Um, yeah, very, very nice. So, I'll be testing that out. Next, we have the Rake. This is the Rake... Um, F118. It's also called something else. I forget the name of it, but wow, is this thing comfortable in the hand. That is extremely comfortable in the hand. Nice grippy G10. It is also a full tang and it's in my, one of my favorite steels, 14C 28M. Beautiful stone wash finish. This is a harder use knife. You can tell it has a great geometry for a fixed blade while also being very robust. I seen in a video, they hammered it into a tree and stood on it. Um, nice, thick, robust blade stock while also not being too thick. Jimping is very, very nice. Yeah, this thing's going to not only cut very good, but I could tell this thing would be a fantastic camping knife slash whatever knife. I mean... Man, these ergos are just... Normally, I say, you know, when it goes from thicker to thinner, it's not um, as comfortable as if it went from thinner to thicker, if that makes sense. So, in this case, it does get slimmer right here, but it's still so thick, especially right here, that it, it winds up working out so good. This palm swell is so comfortable in the hand. And then we have... A great, uh, looks like a Kydex sheath with a uh, belt loop that uh, is kind of like a tech lock, you know, where you can, and you can face it in any direction by pushing this down. You can carry it, scout carry, or, you know, regular right on the side of your belt carry. The retention, nice push off point right here. Very, very nice. So this will be also be being tested. Next, we have a cold steel. A lot of you guys probably already know what this is. This is the SRK. And man, ah, these rubber grips are extremely comfortable. It kind of reminds me of a K-bar. I think this is a hollow. Yeah, hollow ground blade. The steel is SK5, made in Taiwan. Lanyard hole, all this gripping on the, the rubber is so, so comfortable. I can tell that I could carry it in the rain. I could definitely use this without it ever slipping out of my hand. Um, nice clip point blade. I could definitely feel myself chopping with this. The finish, I'm not sure how durable this finish is. It is like that really rough type of finish. I'm not sure how well that will hold up, but being a fixed blade, do you really worry about it? I mean, I personally don't, um, but yeah, very, very cool. Check out the sheath really quick. Nice, nice sheath. Now this one has the belt loop, so you got to hang it from your belt. We have a nice push-off spot. Nice long, long blade. 
very very awesome this one will also be being tested out probably do some chopping with it i don't know because i don't want to hurt the finish of this and these were sent in by the way by q ball q ball man thank you i appreciate you sending me these fixed blades we have another one to check out now this next one I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these for a long time, long, long time. So I am very excited to get one in hand. Actually, we have two more, I'm sorry, two more knives. Uh, both of them I'm excited to get my hands on. This one is the Tucson Chef Knife. Now this one is in 14C28N, awesome G10 scale. It is um, I get a full tang. Nice and comfortable in the hand. Nice, tall, tall blade. Stupid slicey. I mean, it's a chef knife, but you can see how thin it is. Oh, this thing is going to have insane cutting geometry. Nice little uh, drop point, clip point, uh, chef style blade. You can get a lot of rock with that, um, with all that belly. Oh, man, this thing's going to be so awesome. I think 14C28N is a perfect steel for a uh, for a chef knife i think it's a perfect steel for a lot of things including edc knives folders fixed blades and chef knives of course a good stainless steel it's very tough and for them to get this thin geometry like this it's nice to have a tough steel like 14c28m so and it's going to hold a ridiculous edge a very very even the factory edge is pretty decent um the the it has a mosaic pin right here very cool looking and it comes in a nice box with a little uh, guard for the blade so that's pretty cool and like, like i said it comes with a box i'll slip that back in for the time being until i bring it to the kitchen now the next one i love this knife this is a Gale Bradley fixed blade, and the sheath is pretty cool. I do wish it had a tech lock, although I think you could take those out and turn this if you did want to go in different directions. I'm not sure how that will work, um, but let's look at the knife. The knife itself, holy cow, this thing is so awesome. Very tall, flat ground blade. The blade steel is S or PSF. 27 so um uh spider co psf 27 steel um i'm not crazy familiar with uh the that steel but you know i, I you know i'll have to look more into it i know gail bradley likes to use a lot of m4 um yeah man this thing it's got a great thickness while still not being too thick it brings the thickness down to the tip, so the tip is very, very durable. You have a great amount of belly. I can tell, even though this thing's very light, I can tell I could do some good chopping with it because of the geometry. I can tell it'll it'll cut in deep. But besides that, for regular slicing and cutting things and possibly like field dressing and making fires, this thing feels phenomenal. It is very very comfortable in the hand you have a beautiful choke up spot right there and the way this plunge grind is you can sharpen up this blade without hitting a plunge grind because it goes from the thickest point straight down to the blade so that's very nice and you could always notch it out very easily you see the little spider coal hole and the, you know the spidey right there very very cool here's the gail bradley sign oh man this thing is just amazing and i can yeah like i said i can tell that this could just be an absolute workhorse now it is a large knife it's not a small knife at all uh where's that elementum let's check it out next to the elementum really quick you can see it is quite a bit bigger than the elementum though and in all all directions so it's definitely going to be a little bit more of a workhorse than that elementum the elementum is more of a tactical knife this one's possibly more of an outdoorsy uh you know style knife i mean this is definitely going to be very very useful out in the bush out in the field camping you know whatever even around your farm this thing it kind of leans forward like a machete if you can see that you see how it kind of drops a little bit like it seems like it goes 
you see how it drops right there. That has that real lean forward type of feel where I feel like a belly's constantly pushing towards something. So like if I had to, you know, um, do some, um, some feather sticking or something, even if I used it right here, I can get right to that edge, man. This thing's going to be a beast. I can already tell. Now, the sheath, really quickly, the retention, the retention is beautiful. Best retention yet of all these knives. Very, very nice. Um, like I said, I would rather see like a tech lock or something, something similar to this. But, you know, I'm sure it'll work great. And this is the kind of knife you're not going to carry uh scout carry so it'll actually probably work just fine you know right on the side of your your hip hanging down towards your thigh i think this thing's gonna work great so that will be coming soon too um i don't know how hard i'll be testing these but you know i'll test them out a little bit for you guys i love you guys thank you guys for watching peace